Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to give just a small update on Ovacetol. I've been taking Ovacetol since May and I'm almost finished with my first canister. I have already ordered my second canister, so I'm really excited to continue this Ovacetol journey and I kind of have given myself a one year period to test out Ovacetol and see if it really does work for me. So I hope you guys continue on this journey with me. If you guys haven't seen my previous Ovacetol videos, please check those out first before you watch today's video. A while ago, I made a video about the biggest change I've noticed since taking Ovacetol and that has been that it's cleared my hormonal acne. Today, I wanted to mention the second biggest change that I've noticed since I've been taking this supplement. So the second biggest change I've noticed since taking Ovacetol is that my appetite has decreased tremendously. Yay! You guys know like people with PCOS, we suffer with binge eating and crazy cravings. We have hangry moments. If we eat like a meal 30 minutes or an hour later, we still feel hungry. That is a PCOS symptom that I have been struggling with for many years. I just have crazy cravings and I'm such a binge eater. I always have to have like a large amount of food and even if I eat all of that food, I still feel hungry like an hour later and I want to eat more and more food. And I didn't know why I was always feeling hungry. But since I've been taking Ovastol, I've just noticed like a huge decrease in my appetite. Whenever I start eating, I usually will feel full a lot quicker and my brain has like signals of feeling full now. I kind of know when to stop eating. Whereas before, I never felt satisfied. I always felt like I had to eat more. I had to have like more delicious food. I definitely feel like I have more self-control over food. Before, food really controlled my mind. Like, every moment I was thinking about food like every meal I just wanted more and more food it was such a hard battle because I thought to myself can I ever be in control of food one day you know you're not hungry but your brain keeps telling you like you're hungry you need to eat you need to satisfy these cravings or you're gonna go crazy and pre ovacetol whenever I had cravings I had to satisfy those cravings like i would go crazy i would cry i would throw a fit and like my husband would be like oh my gosh like he would just have to go out and get me food because my mind was just going crazy like i needed to have like that food at that moment but these days i definitely have so much more self-control over my food my appetite is definitely decreased I feel more satisfied with just like a small meal and I don't have those hangry moments that I used to. I mean every now and then I'll have my cravings but it's definitely not like before where I was just like crying and crying because I wanted food so bad and that's definitely like the second biggest change I've noticed in myself is that I just feel like I have more control over food and I don't need to eat like as much as I used to. I think if you're somebody with PCOS that's suffering from binge eating and like cravings and you always feel hungry or hangry, Ovacetol could be helpful for you. I do want to just say that even though I am satisfied with the results that I'm getting from Ovacetol now, I think there's still a long way to go and I want to give myself more time and I want to give my body like more time to kind of see how Ovacetol will work in the future. I'm still waiting for my period. I mean, that's the main reason why I've been taking Ovacetol is because I wanted to regulate my period. But, you know, I haven't seen like any period while taking Ovacetol yet. So that's something I'm still waiting for. I know everybody's bodies are different and we all will react differently to Ovacetol. But I definitely do recommend at least trying Ovacetol out if you guys have PCOS. My experience with Ovacetol has so far been good and I only hope that things will get better. I do want to say that this video is not sponsored. I'm not being paid to say these things. Like I didn't get sent Ovacetol to talk about it. I researched, you know, PCOS 
supplements myself and I found out about Ovacetol and I ordered this product and it has been working so good for me that that's why I make these videos to talk about my experience because I just hope it can help other people out there with PCOS. Ovacetol is a little bit pricey but I do have some discount code for you guys. If you guys are living in USA, Puerto Rico, or Mexico, you can use my PRC code 237849 for $10 off your order. If you guys are living in Canada, you can use my discount code YOJA5 for 5% off your order. And other international orders, you can order Ovacetol on evitamins.com. If you use my link down below, you can get $5 off your first purchase of Ovacetol. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free to comment down below and I will try to help you guys the best I can. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be making my three month update video in a few weeks. So please come back and check out that video. As always, thank you for watching my videos and I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.